uh, yes, this is another uh, Blu-ray or 4K uh, unboxing. It's not really unboxing, but it's more like a, my update Blu-ray 4K collection update video. So this one I bought from Amazon. Uh, before I go into that, I just want to say uh, thank you very much, guys. I just hit 100 subscribers now. I'm now in 101 now. So hopefully hit 200 subscribers and please continue to do so. And also, guys, another wee update. I am planning to do this Amazon wish list. So it's down in the description down below. If you want to, to send me anything, like another 4K or Blu-ray or anything like that, it's all there. I'll leave the description down below. And of course, you don't have to buy anything for me. You don't have to. It's there if you want to. It's only there if you willing to or buying to. Because I've seen other YouTubers done that, but I saw I said to do in my way as well, but I'll try not to ask you guys to do that. If you want to do it, perfect. If you can, I totally understand. I totally understand why. Again, thank you so much guys for the 100 subscribers and I cannot wait to hit 200 or 300 or 400 or 500 or 600 or even a thousand subscribers or even 2000. If I can hit that way, if I don't, all I care about is you guys, you know, giving me some good comments and also making the best quality uh, YouTube videos as much as I can. Even though I don't make tons of YouTube content, but I do try my best, do many as I can, because I know I've been working and I've been doing a lot of um, grown-up stuff now and again, but I'll try be on YouTube as much as I can, as much as I can uh, if I try to. But anyway, so enough said. I do appreciate your support, guys, and I really do. Anyway, let's get into this uh, 4K collection that I just bought from Amazon this past week. And the one just came today as well. Um, all been unwrapped, so it's all been done. So I'll just show you what I've got. And of course, I'll show you what the discs are. So I've got one, two, three, four, 4K Blu-ray. So there's four DC. They're, they're mostly superhero stuff in this. I'm, since I'm a big superhero fan. Um, let's get to it. So first off, we have uh, the Zack Snyder's Justice League trilogy. If you can see it right there, this is all... Uh, three of the uh, Zack Snyder's DC movies, which includes uh, Man of Steel, uh, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and his version of Justice League. So it's not Joss Whedon's version, if you're expecting that. It's Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League movies. This is Zack Snyder's version of the film. Um, overall, I really like this case. I was about to get individual ones like Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and Zack Snyder's Justice League in his own way, but I just saw this. I thought, you know what? I'll just get all these people together if, you, if I just not get them separate. So there's the cover there, and then there's all the characters in the films. Here's the side, and here's the back. It tells you how long it is, and there's five discs. I thought it was four discs, actually, four discs, because Justice League is a two-part disc, because it's a four-hour one movie, and it's Certificate 15. And we'll open up the case here, with a slip cover, and it's pretty much the same. So we open up the, the discs, and here we have um, Man of Steel, which is the black disc there. And here we have Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, the open edition. So this is the the actual version of the movie, if you want to watch that. Because the proper one. And Zack Snyder's Justice League Disc 1. And Zack Snyder's Justice League Disc 2. So it's a two-part disc. So if, you, if you're watching the four-hour long movie. So you guys know, I've my opinion on the, Zack Snyder's DC films... With Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, after seeing Zack Snyder's Justice League, I think my opinion has slightly changed overdue because I wasn't a big fan of Man of Steel and Batman v Superman when it first came out, but I think over time, I think I've grown to like it a little bit more now. I don't know why, but here we are. So there's um, the disc there. Um, I will do a review on Man of Steel on June when it comes to its 10th, uh, 10th anniversary, which is this year coming up. Which, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do that. Because I've, I've got some thoughts about it. I need to watch it again. Because there's something about it I really enjoyed. So, Zack Snyder's Justice League. It's definitely worth picking up. If you're a fan of Zack Snyder and his DC films, it's definitely worth following. Or if you've got individuals on that. And, of course, we have a DC film. The film that many people like and don't. Black Adam. The reason why I've owned this is because I'm trying to buy all the other DCU movies, even though I'm not the biggest fan of this film. I know some people do like it, and that's fine. I will do a review on that, and of course another film I will talk about very soon. Um, here is Black Adam, Dwayne Johnson looking miserable. He looks wooden from that form, I'll just say that. 
here's the spine, and here's the back, here's all the characters from Black Adam and uh, Justin Society, and Dr. Fate's my favourite character in the film, I'll just say that, uh, Certificate 12 a and open up, and it's pretty much the same thing, same thing the front and back, it's fine, discs, and there's a wee leaflet there, for Jazan, Fury of the Gods, and the Gotham Knights video game, which I've heard nothing but not much good reviews on that one compared to the Arkham. And here we have the discs. Black Iron, 4K and Blu-ray. Nothing much there, just a bland black and blue disc. That's it, nothing too special to look at. So yeah, so that's um, Black Adam. Not a big fan of it. I might do a review at some point, give my general thoughts on the movie. But if you guys like it, that's cool. But yeah, Black Adam. Next one, a film I'm talking about very soon. Shazam, the first one. I uh, really like this movie. Uh, I think it's a really great, fun DC film. I really enjoyed it. Zachary Levi is great as uh, Shazam. Uh, here's him there with the blowing his bubble gum and he goes on his phone. There's a side. There's the back, tells you everything about the movie, and there's the, tells you how fun it is. Total blast and a ton of, ton of fun. Definitely is a fun movie. I uh, open up, it says the clip cover there. There's the same thing. It's the, mostly the same thing, but the only difference is the, there's two screenshots in the movie are not there in this one. And we open it up, and there's a wee leaflet. Tells you the DC stuff, and there's that version of Birds of Prey, which came out three years ago. And there's all the collection for the DC films coming up, all the recent ones, Blu ray 4K. And here we have the discs, Shazam, and you know, this one, the 4K disc is actually quite cool, but the blue ones are just bland. So here we go, so that's Shazam. Can't wait for the sequel. Hope it's good. And the final one, this is a, a very underrated one, very underrated. This just came out just a few weeks ago, and I had to pick this up. I used to have it in Blu-ray, so I just sell it away to get 4K. And it's Kick-Ass, which is a very underrated comic book film. Probably my favourite comic book movie in 2010. It's definitely one of the most underrated ones. A lot of people don't talk about this as much. So here we have the case. There's the characters. You have Kick-Ass, Hit-Girl. Uh, Christopher Mintz Platts as um, Red Mist and Big Daddy, Nick Cage. Uh, really great fun. I will talk about that at some point in the future, Kick Ass, because I've got a lot of things to say about that movie. Here's the sides, here's the back. And if you open it up, uh, it's not much there, it's just here's the 4K disc of Kick Ass, and there's the normal standard Blu ray. Which is the disc I owned before, so it's still there. So pretty much the same one except for the 4K. Um, so yeah, so that's kick ass. So that's all for those um, 4K, which is a really amazing. So I um, really enjoyed this collection. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and of course, like, comment, subscribe. And of course, I will do a review of Shazam coming up very soon for Shazam Fury Gods, and of course, Black Adam. I'll do that as well. Of course, guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe. I hope to do more reviews some point soon, like a retro review. And of course, guys, until next time, see ya!